Yeah, I'm excited about today's video because we're actually going to see a hydro dissection procedure of the cervical plexus and then one of the auriculotemporal nerve. Hydro dissection is where fluid is injected around a nerve, but specifically it's in the sheath, it's typically in the sheath that contains the nerve and has the potential to release a nerve or release a plexus that's getting stretched or compressed. And when regenerative solutions are injected such as platelet-rich plasma or bone marrow, it even has the potential to regenerate the nerves. Now you guys know mostly I'm a prolotherapist that does prolotherapy injections to stimulate the ligaments to tighten and thicken to resolve ligamentous joint instability. But sometimes the ligamentous joint instability, because of the excessive or destructive movements of the bones has caused a lot of compression and stretch on plexus, which are uh, where a bunch of nerves meet or ganglion which is where the dna of the nerve is or the actual nerve itself can again undergo a lot of stretch and compression so the nerve itself can actually be injured now in edwin's case it mostly gets irritated so we just keep releasing it and he gets longer longer and longer periods of pain relief now, if we look at the sensory innervation of the head and neck, you'll see that the auriculotemporal nerve, which is right by the TMJ, it's going to cause, it, it, it's important for sensation in this region, and the cervical plexus is this whole region. So if the cervical plexus is getting uh, irritated, stretched, compressed, a person can have pain here, and the auriculotemporal nerve can give a lot of pain basically in the temple region. So Edwin is going to get hydrodissection of this nerve and this nerve plexus specifically for pain relief. The plexus itself originates from the first cervical nerve, second, third, fourth. Now this is the brachial plexus, which is basically C5, C6, C7, C8. So this is the lower cervical plexus that innervates the muscles that go down to the arm. But you could see where the plexus runs between various muscle groups. So hydrodissection is where you're going between the muscle groups, which is where the fascia plane is, and that's what houses the plexus. And then we can see all the different nerves that branch off of the cervical plexus. So not only can irritation of the cervical plexus give you pain in this region, since there's branches like the lesser occipital nerve and greater auricular nerve, it can even give you pain like in your ear or in the back of the ear. And then this is the plane. You see the plane. These are all the nerve bundles here. So we're going between the planes of muscles to release the nerve. The cool thing about hydrodissection is often the patient during the actual procedure will feel something as if the doctor's in the right place. There could be some tingling and there can even be release. Like all of a sudden the tension or the pain that the person was receiving is gone because you immediately release the nerve. I actually have a, just an amazing young man here who's a patient of mine who actually came today for cervical plexus hydrodissection. So it's probably a term that most of the people watching these videos has never heard. Because most people come to Caring Medical, uh, the Hauser Neck Center for Prolotherapy. And Edwin, why don't you just tell a little bit about your story, because you did have a bunch of prolotherapy. And then why today are you here for cervical uh, plexus hydrodissection? So I uh, came in with widespread pain in my neck and my upper back and my shoulder area. What, uh, what year was that? That was 2020. Okay. Um, happened to stumble across your 
YouTube videos, so um, we'll see how this goes. And I uh, came in for a couple visits and just to give it a shot, and it was working, so I kept coming. And um, during that time, I was noticing that I was also having some pain here in my jaw, and uh, I just kind of figured I ground my teeth, and that's just how it goes. Uh, that's what the dentist said. So. Uh, and that's what a lot of other doctors said before I got here. So um, I just happened to mention it to him and I figured that, you know, being Google doctor that a lot of people are, uh, you know, it was just something that was probably structural because the muscles contract and it was just going to be upset for the rest of my life. So when I mentioned it to him, he uh, kind of opened up my mind to doing this hydro dissection and he recommended getting a shot in this area on my neck. And my first questions were, I ask a lot of questions and you should too, um, <laughs> were, you know, how is that gonna help when you're giving me a shot in my neck? And so he kind of went through the steps with me, which I'm sure he's gonna go over with you now. Uh, long story short, I had an open mind to it and it lasted for well over a year and it finally wore off. So here I am, at, it's been what? probably 14, 15 months. And um, I'd say that's pretty good time to have no pain in your jaw. Hydrodissection means that you're injecting a solution around where the nerves are in the facial plane and you're actually releasing the nerve. So theoretically, if anybody had fascial tension on a nerve or a nerve plexus, that can cause a compression and a stretch of the nerve or the nerve plexus and then give pain. The nice thing about it is that we just use 5% dextrose. So the solution is just really, really safe. And just for fun, what we did today was, cause you said that you were trying to get insurance oh, reimbursement oh. for it, right? You said yeah. you tried, but yeah. it. So I tried going the, the cheap route, which, uh, I'm sure you've heard before. And I went through my insurance and the, you know, we're talking these doctors that are supposed to be vetted through the system and all that sort of thing. And I told them about this procedure because I figured, hey, if they're gonna cover it, it's gonna cost me that much, why not try it? Um, which was a smart move, even though it didn't work. But I told them about it and they said, oh, of course we can do that, we do everything here. And then they said, do you mind getting me those notes though? So I called up front and I got the notes. And then they were like, so where exactly did he do this procedure? And I was like, it was literally just two shots, like boom, boom. I mean, it took probably five minutes. And they told me they didn't like that area, uh, that it was too dangerous, and uh, that they could only do one side at a time. So I had to come at different visits. I think they were milk my insurance. And um, then they were like, no, we're gonna do it over here. And I was like, he never touched that area. Right. And they were like, ah, oh, well, you know, hey, you're seeing us for a reason kind of thing. And I was thinking, well, I am, but I don't know if it's the right one, but you know, it's the money reason. But uh, they gave me a shot in there and then pretty much what happened was I just couldn't feel this part of my shoulder for like 30 minutes and then it went away. And guess what? My jaw felt the same and I'm here now. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. No, that was a great explanation for it. I'm just gonna go through a few things that we just found today because I just, said to you like whenever uh, a patient is trying to get insurance reimbursement it's always good to you know do your own research and then come up with a packet to give to the insurance company so turns out a friend of mine uh, somebody who I've known for a long time Dr. Reeves is doing a study on cervical plexus hydrodissection with D5W for post-traumatic stress disorder so that's amazing that's that's a that, that's amazing. So they're, they're are, they are studying this procedure uh, for post-traumatic stress disorder. So that's very interesting. Then this is, an, this is actually a case study where Dr. Reeves you know, successfully treated somebody with D5W hydrodissection, you know, uh, unentrapping the uh, cervical plexus where they helped resolve the a person with post-traumatic stress disorder. And then if you go on Google, you'll see that there's lots of different uh, conditions that uh, doctors have used cervical plexus hydrodissection. Uh, one of, another colleague of mine, uh, Dr. Lamb, 
Um, he wrote a really good review. It's called Transition from Deep Regional Blocks Toward Deep Nerve Hydrodissection in the Upper Body and Torso. And he did a retrospective chart review of the analgesic effect, you know, the pain relieving effects of D5W as the primary hydrodissection injectate to enhance safety. Oh, is I'm not so, you know, the carrying medical now is a look up a zone. So I'm sorry, I'm looking down. So can you give me? Uh, the one of the various things that you can get on the internet so and you know like I said you could have an upright desk but it still may be you know it still may be that you're doing something that's causing tightening of muscles um, you know then causing the yeah. condition to come back so we so everybody should be doing things, you know, they should be doing things so we don't, we're not looking down, looking down, because it doesn't matter how much prolotherapy, and we should say the prolotherapy had a positive effect on you to stabilize you, but there was something else going on. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the things went away and other things didn't. That's why we decided it must be, you know, something in the anterior part of your neck. So this, this study by, because obviously me going like this is a lot better f for my neck than if I was, if yeah. I was down there like this. So uh, then, uh, so Dr. Lamb looked at 26, 26 patients retrospectively that he had treated and the net result of it was that the pain improvement exceeded 50% in every case. Because the good thing about hydrodissection is it's immediate. So you could have a... I'll second that. You could have a pain or something in your hand and then you could do hydrodissection of the nerves to the hand because it releases it right away. Mm -hmm. So then immediately if you say, no, 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 it's like way better, then you know that's the problem. So it's not only a treatment, it's diagnostics. That's what's amazing about it. And then he said that 75% pain relief occurred in uh, half of the patients and our results confirm the analgesic effect of D5W injection and suggest that hydrodissection using D5W provides cumulative pain reduction. So he saw these people over a 16 month period. So most of the patients had consistent pain relief through the whole time. So it's not just that you get pain relief uh, immediately but you get pain relief like you had pain relief for you told me a year and a half yeah and then why don't you just say the treatment it's pretty easy to go through right it's like you know <laughs> i can tell you uh so if you've already done the prolo therapy this is a cakewalk um and uh not to scare you away from the prolo but um it's two shots or depending on how many you need yeah. i mean it was uh, and yeah. it's going to be because i'm about to do it here in a couple minutes but it's very easy um you know, you use your well, my ultrasound tool and yeah. then give me a shot, yeah. boom, I feel, like you said, pretty much immediately within a minute, you can feel it kind of yeah. like tingle up your face and your neck, uh, which is a good tingle, by the way, because it means that it doesn't hurt. And uh, then he does it to the other side and then you shake hands and you go on about your life. So I like that, I'd say that's a good transaction. So um, yeah good stuff also one thing I'd like to mention about the posture stuff the inversion glasses yeah I'd recommend that for posture yeah or if you yeah. like to read if you don't yeah. read then inversion don't. glasses or prism glasses the likelihood is if you maintain your cervical curve the tension on the cervical plexus is going to be less and less the more you do this the more there's tension you're stretching and possibly compressing the nerves in the anterior part of the neck which can give you all kinds of things well you ready you ready to get treated I'm ready. Okay. Thank right. you for being here. Right. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Here we're going to actually see the procedure that I performed on Edwin. You're going to see me do an ultrasound just to get a lay of the land. Here, the ultrasound probes down here, you can see the internal jugular vein, the carotid artery. Then look at that nerve bundle there. So Hydrodissection is where you release the nerve bundle from the fascial plane. And then we're going to see the actual procedure. Okay, then you see me going up. So see me going up. And then you're going to see the, the uh, various uh, nerves. The, you know, they'll, they're going to go deeper.
and then see this cervical nerve root. It's unbelievable how, and this is the vertebrae. So this is the, you can even see the vagus nerve really well. So if we wanted to release the vagus nerve, we could. And that's gonna be the fascial plane that we release for the cervical plexus. So there's the ultrasound. Then you could see the needle and watch the release here where you'll see the fascial plane, see how it separates, see it separating. So I'm gonna put a lot of the D5W, dextrose 5% solution, all in this plane just to keep releasing it, releasing it, releasing it here, releasing it here, releasing it here, releasing it here, in many, many different uh, places. And, you know, it doesn't actually take, all, take that long. Uh, you know, he's, he's comfortable. And because it's done under ultrasound guidance, it's, it's very safe. And the solution's going in over there. So just releasing the fascial plane. So it's like the ultimate myofascial release. Now watch this. This is the auriculotemporal nerve. See, I'm right by the TMJ. Watch the release. It's pretty dramatic. So the solution goes in, look at that, look at that release, wow. And almost immediately, well, immediately, Edwin's like, wow, that was, <laughs> he, he could feel it right away, like something happened in this area and he's had a wonderful response to hydrodissection of his cervical plexus and auriculotemporal nerve. Mm -hmm.